Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you the hidden menu or the additional settings on the Ninja Espresso Machine. This is the Lux Cafe. Now I have several videos on how to set it up for the first time, how to make all the drinks. This one's gonna be dealing with all of the special menu or additional settings, H1 through H9. So turn the machine on. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the size button for three seconds. This is the size button right next to the dial. Hold it for three seconds. The left-hand display is gonna go into like a, it's a weird looking display, but it does say H1. Rotate the dial to go to the different H's. You're gonna press the button, but let's start with H1. And what does it mean? H1 is the beeps. So this is pretty important. Press the button, be beeps off. Off turns the beeps off. If we rotate it, we can turn the beeps on. So if I want to turn the beeps off, I would press the button the beeps are off, then press the size button and it comes out of the special menu button, all right? Let's leave them on. I like the beeps. Let's, let's go down to H2. H2 is eco mode, saves power by turning the boiler off after brewing. Default, the default is off. If you wanna keep, if you, yeah, it's gonna leave the boiler on. So if you wanna turn eco mode on, which is gonna turn the boiler off, um, the machine does turn itself off. It goes into like a standby mode after about five minutes. But if you want to turn the boiler off as soon as it's done brewing, you're going to turn that on. So rotate it, press the, the, the button that you just turned, and it's going, to, it's going to give it the opposite. I want it off. All right, now let's rotate to H3. H3 is recommended grind size. Turns the recommended grind setting display on or off. Leave on. I think this is very important. I'm not sure why we would turn this off yet, unless it does it for you, but press the button. It's on. The default is on. You can turn that off, but I'm gonna leave mine on. All right, let's go to H4. Barista assist technology resets. Resets the recommended grind setting to the default setting. So in my video, I have a setup video on how to set up, how to dial in the espresso shot. That's the dialing in an espresso shot is how the machine kind of figures out the grind size from the very beginning. So if you want to reset that, say your things aren't working the best and you just want to reset it, or you put a new coffee bean, a different type of coffee bean, and you need to dial in the espresso shot, this is what you're going to press. So you're going to put the new coffee beans in. You're going to go to H4, press the button. Yes. So you want to recommend it. You would have to dial in the espresso shot. That means by running a couple espresso shots, keep changing this, matching the, the recommended to the current, the first espresso shot you get is going to be awful. It's only going to be like four drips, but by the time you get to the third one, it's going to be perfect. So let's, I don't want to do that. I want to put no. So H5, fact, so say you're having problems. Factory reset, resets all variables on the machine to default setting. If you want to reset this, hit the button, go to yes, hit it again. It's going to factory reset it like you just took it out of the box. I'm going to hit no. I have a video on setting it up. The main thing is you're going to have to dial in the hard water softness again. So you have to get a little strip that tells you how hard your water is and then dial in the hard water according to one being very, I think soft. Yeah, five is very hard depending on how many of those purple boxes. All right. So, and then you have to dial in the espresso shot. So that's pretty much what you have to do if you do a factory reset and it, it resets all the frothing you can change the frothing temperatures and stuff. So it just resets everything to out of the box. I have a video on how to reset it. H6, ratio adjustment. Adjust the water to grounds ratio, all right? 25 is the default. The setting gives a 2.51 ratio by weight of espresso output, bean output, input. We could go to a two to one, or we could go to three to one. Larger, less concentrated espresso smaller, more concentrated espresso. I think it's, I wouldn't mess with that one. That one, 25 is just right for me. H7, froth temperature, adjust the temperature of your froth. Default is medium. We could go, if, you, if your milk is too hot, go to low, hit the button, it's gonna go to low. You could have, you could turn the temperature of the milk up even. I'm gonna go to medium, which is kind of like a weird M. It's like two sevens. H8, hard water brings the hard water test manual up, up, and you can reset your hard water. I'm at an H4 right now because I did the hard, the, the test strip that came with it. If you ever want to just back out, hit the size button, then it goes back to H. 
Let's go H9. Mild coffee. I've have had some comments that people say the coffee coming out here is pretty strong. It is pretty strong. Mild coffee brew. For all coffee brews, less grounds will be dosed during grinding, which will slightly decrease the brew, brew strength. So that's off by default. So if you want to get milder coffee, turn it on. So it's off, go to on, press the button to hit it. I'll leave mine. It is pretty strong coffee. All right, there you go. Additional settings, completely explained. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Again, I bought this with my own money. I spent $500 on it. I absolutely love the machine. I got about 10, 15 videos on it now, how to go through every single one of the drinks that comes with it. All I got a whole video just on the frothing, the descale, clean. I mean, this is an absolutely amazing machine that I absolutely love. And if you get messed up, just reset it, follow my instructions in the setup video. In the setup video, I take everything out of the box, go through it for the first time. The only thing that didn't go right was this spring didn't work when I first got it, but I kind of turned the, the tamper and now the spring works. So in the unboxing, that didn't work, but it wasn't that big a deal. But I do appreciate people leaving comments that uh, explained that to me and I was able to fix mine. Love this machine. I bought it with my own money and I was not paid for this video but I do use the links. So underneath the video, I'll put a link to this and also my coffee. So I did uh, brand my very own coffee just to add simple sip coffee. It does great in this machine. That's all. I've made all my drinks with my very own coffee. It's right underneath the video. You'll see a little pop-up where you can click on and buy it at justadadcoffee.com. But I do use links. So if you end up purchasing this product using a link that I have in my description, the product won't cost you anymore, but I get a small commission from that sale. It is a way of helping support my channel. That way I can continue to do these videos. Honest reviews, how to's. I love, I love what I do. So again, I hope my videos help. I really, really do appreciate everybody's support. Also be sure and check out my coffee, Just A Dad Simple Sip Coffee. You can buy it at justadadcoffee.com or underneath the video, there'll be a little pop-up where you can buy it off of my store. That'll take you to justadadcoffee.com. I sell it in the whole bean and the ground coffee and in the K-cup. And I ordered mine about a week ago, and that's what I've been using in this espresso machine, and I absolutely love it. The beans look a little bit light, but it's a dark to medium roast. I think it tastes really good. I've had iced coffee, regular coffees, and I, I've had espressos. So this coffee, the coffee that I sell does really good with espresso, iced coffee, cold brew coffee, and just regular coffee in this machine, and also other drip coffee makers. So if you're looking for a coffee bean that just works in the brand new Ninja Espresso machine, just a dad simple sip coffee. So if you could give me a follow over on Instagram and I have two Facebook pages, a Facebook page and a Facebook group page. I really would appreciate a follow. I do free giveaways there and kind of behind the scenes and how things are going. And that's the best way to communicate with me. Uh, my group page, you can leave a post and I'll try to answer it as soon as I can, but that's the best way to ask me questions and to see what's going on with the page. And again, I do use affiliate links. I am an affiliate with Shark and Ninja, Amazon and Walmart. So if one of the links down below, you click on it, it takes you to one of those websites and you end up purchasing the product. The product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a small commission from the sale. It is a way of helping support my channel. That way I can continue to do these videos that I love. I really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could hit the thumbs up button, that really does help out my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe, leave in the comments, um, if you'd like to see something else reviewed or this compared to something, I look at the comments and I really do appreciate everybody's feedback. So again, if you could, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.